this day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and let us be glad in it. I pray that you're having a blessed day thus far. God is good and God is faithful. And he loves us with an everlasting love. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I invite you to this study, Lord. I pray that you would guide us into all truth, Father. By your spirit, Lord God, give us instruction, give us your wisdom. And Lord, most of all, thank you. Thank you for the grace that makes things easy, Lord God. Thank you. Your grace is sufficient and your yoke is easy and your burden is light. So in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. Amen. Well, whew, have you ever just sat and thought about, just thought about your life. Thought about what you've been through and how God has brought you through. Have you ever thought about how much time you actually wasted? Mm -hmm. Yes, unfortunately, there is a such thing as a waste of time and that is something that we can ask God to help us from this day forward to make the best of each and every day no more wasted time with procrastination and results of decisions that we made according to wrong direction you know but God is faithful, and there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Have you ever had a zipper? And the zipper, it flows smoothly from the bottom to the top, zipped all the way up. But if for some reason that zipper is off track or gets snagged, you cannot pull it up to the top. It is just a mess. So you try to work it through, and then for some reason, the zipper is just off track. But if you can take the time to work it out, and then eventually, if you get it all the way back down to the bottom, if you're able to do that, then you can pull it up to the top, and it's, it works that way. But it takes a while, and it's just... Just annoy, it's so annoying to break a zipper. Well, that's what it's like when we are off track in our lives. And when you think back of where you have missed it and decisions you've made and circumstances for those situations were not beneficial in your life. And then there was that waste of time but God is faithful and he said that he would redeem the time that is when we get on course and get in the right position which we are if we've accepted Jesus Christ but there's a lesson in learning and a lesson in taking heed to what the Holy Spirit is saying and then yielding to the grace of God to walk us through this thing we call life. Well, let's go back to this word here and let's just think about this. Just, just think about this for a moment. Now, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do this, his commandments. His praise endure it forever. So the grace of God is sufficient for us to yield to God working in us to will and to do his good pleasure. Yeah, Jesus fulfilled all of the law for us. And so we are under the dispensation of grace now. But God still is not going to go against his word. And his word inside of us through the Holy Spirit will bear good fruit in our lives when we walk according to his Holy Spirit, that is. 
Let's continue. And that was Psalms chapter 111, verse 10. Through thy precepts I get understanding. There I have understanding. I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. We should get to the point where we desire God's way more than anything and get to the position of understanding that we should not take pleasure in anything that's not from his direction, which is false. Anything that is against his will for our lives, we have to get to the point where we actually hate that thing. Hate it with a perfect hatred. Not people, not people. Just those things that cause a waste of time, which that is exactly what sin does. Sin has its pleasure for a season, you know? And I'm not saying in your own strength that you'll be able to walk this thing out. Not saying that. Because by the grace of God, you're able to do it. By the grace of God. But God's grace is available for us to walk it out. Yes, God's way is the right way. Job 32 and 8. But there is a spirit in a man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Yes. The spirit of a man. There is a spirit in a man, and his spirit, and the spirit of the Almighty give them understanding. So God is here to give us understanding okay just think about that but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty give them understanding so god is here to give us understanding and we need it and we can receive it and we can walk in that direction from god's grace so we won't have a waste of time when i think about when i think about decisions that i have made there is there are places that i wish i had never gone mm -hmm. there are situations that i wish i had never been in yeah when you think about that but you learn and there's a place that it's better for us think about it, it is better for us to take heed from God's instruction from his word because his yoke is easy his burden is light so getting direction from God's word and then said oh that's right and then praying father in the name of Jesus I receive your grace to walk this out, to walk in the grace of God, which your will, your spirit doesn't go against your word and your grace is available and sufficient. Yeah, that's the, that's the blessed state of mind. But we know, I can't speak for you, but for me, there is a situ circumstance ministry <laughs> where you learn from your mistakes and so from your mistakes you share and tell others don't do that don't do that because you learned a hard lesson in that place and you would like to share that wisdom and understanding did you learn from that situation that that wasn't a wise choice. But people, even dealing, being a parent, you tell your kids and your kids are like, mm-hmm. And it's, you know, you heard people say, well, people have to learn themselves. They have to make their own choices. <laughs> okay, go right ahead. 
If you would like the situation, circumstance ministry, <laughs> you will learn. You will learn. And you may be sitting in, in a chair like this saying one day, I wish I hadn't took that journey that led me there or, you know, you, you desire to get, take heed to God's word and have a blessed journey. But okay, fine. If you want to take heed to um, your own understanding. Oh, no, honey. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm warning you right now. But please, okay. All right. It's your, you're right. We have choices. Because God gives us choices. And the, tr the truth of the word is, there's a scripture that says, God says, I put before you blessing and cursing. I, I put before you life. And he says, I put before you life. And there's also circumstances and situations that, is, that are not life. Okay? So choose life that you may live and have a blessed life. And not only for you, but your descendants. So he says that. Choose life. And God's grace is sufficient for us to choose life. But all right. If you choose to make decisions that you know that you shouldn't, there's a circumstance situation that will result from that decision. And every day has a day from that from this day. The Lord told me that. Every day has a day from this day. In other words, there's seed sown from this day that will be for another day. So walking according to the Holy Spirit, planting according to the Holy Spirit will be beneficial for that next day. You get that? That's just pretty awesome when you think about that and that your position in this is choosing, by the grace of God, the right the right counsel from the Holy Spirit to make decisions that will be beneficial for you. Not only for you, but also your family. Not only for your family, but those who are in your, your sphere of influence. And it just, it's a better place to be in making righteous decisions. Okay. Who hath put wisdom in the inward parts or who hath given understanding to the heart? God has. God gives us wisdom. God gives us wisdom in the inward parts. And he also gives us understanding. Understanding to the heart. For, for the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth. Cometh knowledge and understanding. That's Proverbs 2 and 6. The scripture before that was Job 38 and 36 and the one before that was job 32 verse 18 the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the knowledge of the holy is understanding so the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge the the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding okay so glory to god when you think about that and the scriptures are given so that you can know that god's word is true and so we can have that place of agreement and that we will know that god's word is here for us to make the right decision and to be that compass in our lives Okay, let's let's look at this one here. This is really here. Discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. Wow, isn't that good? Proverbs 2 and 11. Listen to this. Godly understanding give a favor. Godly understanding give it favor. But the way of the transgressor is hard. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Oh, God's telling us the way of the transgression is hard. It's hard. That's Proverbs 
13 and 15. Good understanding give favor, but the way of the transgressor is hard. It's hard when you're going against what God has said. And the benefit of going according to what God says, he says, is understanding you get favor and you're, you're walking in the will of God, which will benefit you, not only you, but your family, not only your family, but your sphere of influence. So glory be to God that it's better to walk according to the Holy Spirit. Okay, Proverbs 16 and 22. Understanding is a wellspring of light, life unto him that hath it, but the instructions of fool of fools is folly. So Proverbs 16, 22 tells us that. Understanding is a wellspring of life. Oh, just think about a wellspring of life. Have you ever felt that you, okay, have you ever had a day where you just felt fresh? I don't know. Taking a bath is good, but I'm not really talking about that. But taking a bath is awesome. Yeah. Good for you and those who are around you. A shower, bath, but a refreshing time in the presence of the Lord you just have that refreshing everything feels good refreshing good vibes good energy you know from being in the presence of the Lord it just feels refreshing and I like to my family know I often say oh I need a Bible bath or I'll say that and that just means that I need to sit in the presence of the Lord and have that you know time just in God's presence so I can feel the refreshing of his word and his spirit, okay? So, you know, some people like to meditate. Um, I'm just using that as an example of a Bible bath, but people like even the world talk about a meditation, which is, you know, they sit and they meditate. But meditating as a Christian, you can meditate on the, the promises of God. You can meditate on the word of God, meditate in praise and worship, just under the Lord. And then you feel a refreshing from being in the presence of the Lord. So, but if you've ever had the opposite of you've gone around people or you taught, had conversations that was not beneficial in your life or you felt um, that people brought, you know, if there was a circumstance or that there was uh, energy that wasn't feeling fresh to your spirit, then you feel like you need to, you know, get a Bible bath. So it does, it matters with who, who you're around and what you listen to and, you know, just have that time of refreshing to knowledge God in, in what you were doing, where you're going, what you're listening to, what you're meditating on. And, and that, it, that brings a refreshing time. But instruction from fools and you know the bible called it that i didn't say it the bible said it okay and the bible says a fool is someone who doesn't believe in god or so you know if someone just going against what god says god's words god's principles you know what god uh who god is you know the love that god his presence uh the love from his presence, which is the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, kindness, the gentleness, the faithfulness, meekness, and self-control, all from his presence. Those who go against that, you, it's, it's just really, you can't gel with it. You can't flow with it. It won't, it's not, you know, even though Jesus sat with people who were, you know, called sinners, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So we're thankful that Jesus has sat with us hallelujah to cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness but once you're like if you're believing and you receive from god's word and even if an example of what you're standing on believing from god and someone comes with a bunch of doubt and unbelief that you know that's not good counsel for you when you're standing in faith and you're 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 receiving from god so it matters who you're around so let's just recap Making decisions that would be beneficial. Walking according to the Holy Spirit. 
not wasting time with unnecessary, unnecessary, an unnecessary path when you know you shouldn't go there or you know that you shouldn't, you know, go against the grain of God's word because it's going to bring a waste of time. And you don't need that, okay, in your life. I don't need that in my life. So let's just pray and ask God to guide us into truth and to keep us. You know, the love of God constrains us. And again, an attribute of the Holy Spirit, a fruit of the Holy Spirit, self-control. God control us and keep us and counsel us and give us direction and give us um, insight and understanding. You know, because you know better. And when you know better, you choose better. And when you choose better, you, you, you live better. You know, you live better when you choose better. And God's grace is sufficient for us. Okay, so Father, in the name of Jesus, Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for showing us mercy, Lord. The law of spirit and life in Christ has made us free from the law of sin and death. And you are faithful. And you have forgiven us and shown us mercy. And your love endures forever. So, Lord God, we receive instruction from you. And understanding from you. And help from you. And thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for redeeming the time. And thank you for never leaving us or forsaking us. And we bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. And continue to guide us in truth so that we can enjoy a blessed journey. In the name of Jesus, amen. So if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord, what are you waiting for? The Bible says, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. God's word is true. Yes. Calling on him, praying to him. He is here. And he loves you with an everlasting love. Be blessed. And also, if you have not subscribed to At Yolanda Forum, make sure you do and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified for future videos. And I will see you in the next video. Blessings.